going to see how the suit looks on you if I'm actually going to buy it. Stop slouching. Stand up straight. At least act grateful. Hmm. Hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hmm. Well, don't you look simply ravishing this evening? I especially love the necktie. Who would have thought that all it would have taken was a well tailored suit to make you look like you're actually worth something? Two. Anyone else, I mean. Not that anyone else really matters, but presentation and all that. Is there anything you'd like? The suit is more for me than you. How else am I going to be able to be seen with you otherwise? You do realize what I'm offering you here, right? My dear Daddy Warbucks is a billionaire, and he loves doting on his little girl. You could own anything you could have ever dreamed of. You could stop world hunger, world hunger, hundreds of times over, and yet you want nothing. Hmm, aren't you a strange little creature? Most other people I know practically jump at the opportunity to feed off my wealth, surely parasitic things. But you, even when prompted, want nothing. This isn't a test. I'm not toying with you. Any more than I would usually, anyhow. Hmm. You know what would really bring this ensemble together? Some diamonds. We'll make a trip to the jewelers, and then we'll return back to my place so I can get dressed properly. Then it's dinner. I know this simply opulent little dining hall that you'll just adore. The food is to die for, and let me tell you. It looks like you have not eaten well for a while. Gosh, you're so lucky I found you when I did. You were practically destitute when we reconnected. Not exactly the future I expected for you, all things considered, but the future nonetheless. And I'm so glad I found you again. It seems like just yesterday you were spilling coffee on my shoes and kneeling at my feet, begging to repay me and apologizing for what you had done. You're lucky I recognized who you were, and I'm so glad I did. And now look at us. And now look at you. It's really a shame to bury such pearls in the country. Don't dawdle now, sweetheart. The world is our oyster, and was an oyster without a pearl at the center of it. Oh. What would I do without them? When we were children, I looked in those eyes and saw the brightest of diamonds. And those eyes, they still shine the same, but the luster is lost. They worked hard, too hard, and for what? A one-room apartment? A stray dog? <sighs> they should have the life they deserve. And if I can give it to them, then who's to say that I'm not the one they deserve, hmm? If I had to put the chain around their throat, might as well be one of carrot gold. If I have to shackle them, may they be of sterling silver. I'll give them the most gilded of cages, if only they don't fly away. Well, come now! Don't dawdle, dear! So much to do, so much to see. As long as you stick with me.